everyone just uh, starting where we left off let's hit it we're at home say the name all right what is about shack shack home you want something friend yes indeed I can't uh I don't know why there's always an echo when I first play it. I'm sitting right now. And uh, I can't remember what the uh, mission was. We're a journeyman now. As you can see, journeyman. Let's get it. Okay, all right, I got it. Oh, that's right, you can't skip ahead on this one. But we're on our ne next uh, quest as a journeyman of Fighter's Guild now. We're in the Bitter Coast region. As you can see, the, uh, if you can't remember, the Bitter Coast region is the uh, swamp area, as you can see. I'm just, I, I just figured I'll uh, continue north and, and explore a lot. Going on a journey as a journeyman. Ancestral tomb. I'm not going in that. But uh, just recently got some some armor too. Some like leather net leather armor. Some light, weak armor. So basically armor for poor people. I got a, finally got an iron longsword, so I could actually hit stuff now because I'm. A decent level at long at uh, long swords, and I got like a nice wooden shield. The shipwreck. I think we explored that. Yeah, we did. Another slaughter fish. Those things are annoying. I think it scales though. Mud crab. So I was just exploring and stuff. I'll kind of skip ahead. Exploring the swamps, you know. I came across killed a few enemies, some scribs, um, like those centipede things, and some of them worms, those quama worms, and some mud crabs. Killed them. Nothing too spectacular, but. Uh, Went back to Hiyo Ad, fishing village. Speak 
really think? Yes, Outlander. Oh, sorry. Thought I was reading. And I went a little ways and night again. Swamps. And I happened to find someone. The Nyx Hound killed him. Still in the swamps. And I met up with this guy. Let's see what he has to say. Don't press your luck. <sighs> Greeting is just they're murderous outlaws about. No telling what might happen to an unwary traveler. Oh yes, these are dangerous times. They'll rob you, blind you, and cut your throat without giving it a second thought. It's a bad idea to carry anything of value on you in person. In fact, it's probably the last. Oh, so he's a dangerous outlaw. I refuse. So he wanted to steal my money. But I didn't realize how strong he was. Yeah, he's, he's strong. I was looking to see if I had any health potions. That'll help, probably. There we go, health potion. Uh, he still killed me, though. Yeah. I learned my lesson there and decided not to talk to him. At least until I'm strong enough. I'll, I'll get my vengeance, I promise. Just not today. So, continuing our journey and not getting killed by bandits. Or thieves, I should say. Definitely not letting that happen again. Another Nyx Hound. Some weird looking creatures, man. Where are we? That's right, so where we are. Sidonine is up at the far south there, so we went quite a bit north. shit out of everything I see. Except for the guy with the axe. Oh yeah. The cliff racer. I can't remember if we, you, you guys seen one of those yet, but it definitely will not be the last. I promise you that. Just gonna see if we get to jump up that mountain. Come on, I can do it. Doesn't look like it. Come on. Get up there. Yo, oh, hell yeah. It's, oh, it's Balmora. Oh. 
count. Surprised it didn't take damage from that. We're in Balbora now. That was a bit of a shortcut. Heading back to the Escadian Isles now. You know, the place with the trees and the mushroom, big mushroom trees and stuff. I go back, it says level 25, that's pretty decent. The, our uh, old friends at the egg mine just camping. This better be important. Ah, it's raining. That's nice. Well, I just did that to heal up, and now I'm continuing my journey. I was hoping it'd be uh, nicer. Today, but uh, forecast says rain, so yeah, we're in the Ascadian Isles. this place. I genuinely can't remember. I'm gonna save it, obviously. In case I die, which is pretty likely. Considering I think I'm like level two. I can't remember if I'm level two or level one. Some, some kind of mine. And very dark. It's, it's, holy crap, is it dark? <laughs> Ooh. Oh, that's right, it's the ebony mine. Look at that raw ebony, it's worth a lot. It's worth, I think, 200 each, but it weighs a ton. It weighs like 20 pounds each. There's a maximum weight limit that I could carry. When I level up my strength, it raises my the amount of uh, uh the carrying weight it is i never realized how dark it was on the actual screen but uh i could vaguely make out a cave <laughs> and i just rats that i'm killing this is this is nice i should have brought like a torch or something and some more ebony Gonna skip ahead just because the you can't see shit. So there's just rats and stuff here as well. And ebony. All right, I left the cave. Killed some rats in a cave. Picking up some flowers. It's a willow flower. I think I'm about to leave the Ascadian Isles now. There's another bird. They're called Cliff Racers. By far the most annoying 
enemy in the game, in my opinion. Slaughterfish are pretty annoying too, but you know, you don't go in the water that much, so it's not too bad. But when you're in the water, it's almost guaranteed you're going to get attacked by a slot of fish. Climb this mountain. Sorry, I got the uh, little bit of the sniffles today. The uh, Ascadian Isles, and now we're gonna wait. <laughs> Made it to the uh, Ascadian Isles, and now I'm gonna head to a new location you guys haven't seen yet. Pressing farther north. So I went through Bitter Coast, the Ascadian Isles. So the Bitter Coast is the swampy area. The Ascadian Isles is the, uh, um, you know, the nice grassy fields and the mushroom tree trees and normal trees. And then there's the West Gash area that's near Balmora, which is a little, little more rocky with the mu giant mushrooms and stuff where Balmora is and now we're, we're here. This is called the Ashlands, and that makes up like 70% of the map. But this right here is Fort Moon Moth. It's an imperial fortress in the middle, or not in the middle, but the uh, edge of the Ashlands. Thought I'd buy some potions for our journey. blight disease. I think I bought that. I think I have some of that in my inventory already. So they have, the Imperials have forts pretty much everywhere. Well, not everywhere, but quite a few locations. Very well. It's a cool castle. Some sort of blacksmith sells armor arms. Sure if I Pick anything. This is currently what we look like. Background. I'm listening. It's pretty laid out. It's like eleven o'clock PM. 
very gloomy here. <clears throat> Yeah, the Ashlands is like a place of like fire and brimstone. It's, uh, it's volcanic. And, uh, ash covers the the ground from the volcano, the great volcano at the center of the uh, of Morrowind. Or in the castle. Yes. Yes. I go straight that way and straight in the north. Go to sleep. No, I guess not. Ah. Yeah, this is the Ashlands, everyone. Or was the Ashlands. We're heading back to West Gosh. We're leaving the Ashlands. Caldera, Balmora, Pelagia. Never mind, I guess we're going through the Ashlands. Very gloomy place. Malagmar. I think I'm heading towards Pelagiad. I'm pretty sure I'm saying that wrong. Pelagiad. I don't know. Um. Let's see if we can climb this mountain. I'm going to scoop ahead just a little bit. So right now nothing too interesting is happening. Yeah, that's the Ash Lance. Okay, so I don't think I am heading towards Paleo Geod. I think I'm just gonna go through the Ashlands. It's starting to rain. Just as if it couldn't get any more gloomy. But yeah, yeah, as you can see, this is all brimstone and ash. The giant pillars of brimstone and things like that. Some scrib. And the weather will pr will actually get a lot worse the closer you get to the red mountain, the volcano in the center. Ooh, mm. I leveled up my main level. This is where uh, you'll find the much stronger enemies too, usually in the Ashlands. Hold my phone in my other hand, sorry. Kill the rat.
place is kind of a maze. Looks like we're out of the Ashlands and back at uh, the Ascadian Isles. And he paralyzed me. We didn't go full circle, we haven't uh, explored this area yet. That part of the Ashland is ash because uh, as you can see, hold up, let me pause it. Let me see if I can... There we go. As you can see, that's the volcano right there. And, like, lava, like, poured out like that, you know? And it, uh, there's still little pieces of lava that uh, destroyed the land and turned it to ash. You know, this is all green and a spitter coast right there and then there's this lava kind of in the center right there and this whole area up here is is ashlands there's a little piece of it there where fort moon moth is yeah uh, unpause it now Starting to rain again. I think we're at the fields of Kumu. Sorry, I apologize. I'm just trying to get comfortable. Jeez. I need to get a new chair, man. This chair is not very comfortable. Yeah, we're at the field of Kumo. It's a shrine. So, Vivek helped the farmer here. Vivek is an ancestral god worshipped by the, uh, Dunmer. He's one of the three living gods of uh, the, the Dark Elf people, and they worship him. Thorinor. My friend is lost, and I'm very worried about him. Yes, my friend Elders Oriole. I was traveling to Vivek and a strange animal sounded nearby. He's sort of an amateur naturalist. He felt compelled to seek out what was making the terrible noise. That was hours ago. I'm afraid something terrible has happened to him. If you could find him and bring him back safely, I'd be really appreciated. I go myself, but I'm really more of a scholar as he. That's why we're traveling together. Yeah, sure, I'll, I'll help you find your friend. Thornor. Here's the fields of Kumu, everybody. It's a big lake in the center. It's some kind of farmhouse. Oh, hey. It's a Nord. Aloth. Interesting. You like to dance close to the fire, don't you? Ow. It's 
the Kugatari. Yeah, that, that thing, yeah. Oh, leveled up. Level up my strength, personality, and agility, speed. No, I'll go agility. There we go. Finally, a sunny day. The fields of Kamu. It's a big lake. Okay. Let's go find uh, this friend. He's probably dead by now. Myself a bit. Oh, I'm, a, I'm assuming that's his friend. What is it, Sarah? Yep. You found me. I don't know what I've done. Showing up. I'm trapped here by some Kagarti. My friend. Ah, you've met Thornor. You can read it. There are sounds of mating. All right, we found his friend. So those two monsters, those two Karagagi monsters that we killed were the things that trapped him. So, those things. Yeah, we're just gonna take him back to Thornor. No point in seeing that. There we go. Brought his friend, friend back and he, what do you, you give me? Thank you so much, I can tell you, tell you how much this means to me. I'm afraid I don't have much to give you as a, a reward, but the amulet may help you in the travels. It helps the two of us on a number of occasions. And we got the amulet of slow falling. Here we are in Field of Kuma. Paleo Jihad. It's just over there. Amulet of slow falling is pretty, pretty helpful. If you happen to be wearing it, um, you could cast a spell on yourself that makes you fall at a slow pace so you could jump off like cliffs and survive and stuff that's yeah, useful all right so we did that I'll we'll skip a little more ahead We're uh, going back to the Ashlands, it looks like. I'm healing myself. Cause I'm assuming I got attacked by something. Oh yeah, an Alet. Those things are like two-legged alligators, basically. Yeah. They're pretty strong. Well, that was a strong hit that I did there. That's an outlet. I save often because if you die, you start off at the last save point, so. If you're ever playing this game, be sure to save often.
plum. Oh, we got even have these uh, these thorny vines. Collect those trauma root. Chair hurts your ass. No trauma root. It's my attire. Y'all forgot. Climbed a bit of a cliff. Oh, it's a what is it? Oh, it's another outlet. We're gonna fortify strength. Yeah, fortify a bunch of attributes. These things are pretty strong. Here's the lava. The sky is starting to turn a little red. It's a good way to warm up, I guess. Yeah, so it's a... Uh, Uh, long blade at level 45 that's pretty good this early in the game quite talented with the sword going even farther north deeper into the ashlands It's really intimidating here because you don't know what you're going to find. Sometimes there's like demons and stuff. So far we've had pretty good luck. We've had a few close clo close calls with the outlets, but... Oh, what's in there? Ow. Yeah, this rocky terrain is really hard to get around too. It's like a maze walking through the ashlands. Ancestral tomb. Not going there. It's pretty getting pretty cold, uh, so I ended up uh, turn on the heater. Sorry, I was. Uh, Thinking about something, I think I already filmed this. Yeah, we've seen this. I had to stop the video because my girlfriend came and brought lunch, so uh. I think we're about here. <clears throat> Uh, 
Ah, such a beautiful place. Scream. Another Nick sound. So, Cliff Racer, the most annoying enemy in the game by far. There's some more lava. <laughs> oh, an ancestral tomb. <clears throat> Sorry, my voice is going out. Ancestral tomb. Ain't going in there, though. Die. Oh, geez, there's two of them. Or is that one? I can't tell. Oh, and a guar. That's a guar. Oh, he went down easier than I thought. He's just gonna chill up there. Okay. I give myself a potion for having. There we go. I just need one. I shall take two. Heal myself up. What else do I got? <clears throat> Oh shit, there's an elite. Elite. They're like crocodiles with two legs. They're really weird looking. Oh my god. Okay. This is the Ashlands, everybody. Prepare to see a million of those birds. That's what makes me mad, man. They don't attack. I can't sleep. Because there's an enemy nearby, but they're just hovering there. It's really annoying. On down, dude. Fight me. Oh my god, that is so frustrating. Oh, whatever. Oh, there we go. Another attack him. Oh, level up long blade. Can't see because of the thing. There we go. Race of Plumes.
Oh, there's still three of them. Light armor increased to level 37. That's pretty good. Going deeper into the Ashlands. Don't fall. Don't. Don't fall. Come on. I can do it. Get up there. Damn it. Leave me alone. Use <clears throat> another potion. Sorry, my throat's really dry. I should probably take a drink of tea or but hold on the camera. There we go. <coughs> uh. I swear I don't have COVID. Throws <clears throat> is really dry. Acrobatics level 27. I didn't see, it was that 17 or 27, right? It's a big difference between those two numbers, but I'm looking at the, the video through my camera and not at the actual screen. I can see it. <laughs> Some trauma root, sweet. So apocalyptic, <clears throat> so apocalyptic looking. I don't think it could really get much worse than this. And it, it's it's worse. Okay, what the hell? It's like a huge windstorm. I'm gonna save it. And more birds. And the sky is starting to turn kind of red. Okay, <clears throat> carry on. Christ, there's tons of enemies, holy crap. Luckily, luckily they're kind of lower tier enemies, but still. Storm's really bad. So is my voice. I need to head back, man. I'm, I'm gonna end up dying. Trauma root. Kind of reminds me of the Boneyard in Lion King. A little bit.
Here's a demonic ruins and a goblin thing chasing me. I'm out of here. Has no effect. What? Okay, I'm out. I'm running. This place is dangerous as hell. Oh, I hear more birds. I almost fell in lava right there. I don't know if you noticed. Oh, oh, okay. Ow. Okay. Lava's hot. Don't walk in it. Heal myself up Come on, man, die. All right. Gee, this dust storm is intense. It's like the apocalypse or something. I'm, I can't, I'm, I think I'm lost. I can't get out of here. I'm just trying to. Cause I only got one potion left. And I can't rest anywhere because there's enemies everywhere. Is that the enemy? <clears throat> yeah, still more enemies. Marlogmar. If I remember right, I think Marlogmar is a, a volcano. There's another demonic ruins. Jeez. And think, like, most of this map is, like, the Ashlands, like this. It's just around, like, the coasts and stuff. That's, uh, it's green and not, you know, fire and brimstone. Listen to that wind. Very, uh, very menacing. I'm lost. <clears throat> okay, and we're gonna head this way. Got more is that way, okay. Thanks, random sign. doing here oh yeah I was uh, I was seeing if uh, I'd be able to like 
adjust the gamma or something to make it easier for you guys to see because I wasn't sure how dark it was would look when I record it. But uh, I know it didn't really make that big of a difference, so. Alright, I'm gonna skip ahead a little bit. Uh, somehow got even worse. <laughs> yeah, that's leveled up though. My major level. Wow, that's bad. But I think we're out of the Ashlands. Heading back to the fields of Kumu, I think. Yeah. It's looking promising. Yeah, look at my nice strut. I'm out. Oh, it's some kind of temple that's toppled over. Another Guar. <clears throat> now we're out. <clears throat> Back at the fields of Kumu. Oh, it's real nice. Oh, of course, I had to have a bird follow me. But boy, is it nice to be out of there. I didn't have any potions left either. Thought I was going to die in the Ashlands. Alright, <clears throat> he's still following me. That bird is so... I can't sleep because the bird won't attack me. You have to kill all enemies near you to fo go to sleep. He's just hovering there. That's what I hate about them. There we go. A little loud. God, just hit the... God. <clears throat> and straight towards Pelia Gian. I, I know I butchered the name that name, but the names so ow, sorry. The names are so weird on this game. Oh cool, level up strength. Agility and personality, endurance. Or level four. <clears throat> nice. Nice indeed. We just gotta find civilization. We're getting close to the 
the town of Peleagiad. Athletics level 45. Nice. And there's the town. It's like a farm town on the outskirts. <clears throat> then the village and, and a castle. It's definitely an imperial town. Khajiit. Or, uh, sorry, Argonian lizard person. It's a nice town. Has that Eurocentric feel. Kind of like France or Germany or something like that. I can't remember if we've been here or not. What is this about? If we did, I apologize. I think we have, haven't we? Yeah, we did. Okay. Who are you? Dunmer is a dark skinned, red eyed elven people of Morrowind. The Westerners call us dark elves, but we prefer to call ourselves Dunmer. About 50% of Artifel inhabitants are Dunmer, other half are Redguard, Breton, Nord, Altmer, Dunmer, Bosmer, Imperial, Khaji, Argonian, Orc, in roughly equal proportions. Interesting. <clears throat> Buying some stuff. See if he has anything. I think I'm currently broke. Oh no, I have a decent amount, 734. Nothing I really want though. All right, I'm listening. All right, I'm listening. <clears throat> Check out the castle, I May guess. The wind you want something, back. friend? Again. <whistles> he just whistle at me? He's like checking me out. Oh, oh that's right, I was repairing my uh Weapon and armor. Thank you, blacksmith. Imperial short sword. Imperial long sword. That's better than my iron long sword. I'll use it. In case you know, weapons and armor are less effective when you worn them out. Yeah, I, it's kind of obvious. Strength is a virtue, friend. Welcome. Strength is a virtue. Equip my imperial. That's my line. That's my iron longsword, and this is my uh, new. Uh, iron What's your story? Imperial broadsword. I'll get cure common disease in case I get sick. Basically, diseases in this game affect your stats in a negative way. And you have to. It's a pain in the butt. Yeah, nothing you got for me here. I'm gonna skip ahead just a tad. Yes? There's a prison. 
So this is like the barracks. Like a prison. Okay. So after that, I left Paleo Jihad. And, uh, started heading back towards, uh, Balmora. I uh, was a diseased animal, too. Do I go in there? Yeah, I do, apparently. It's the cave I found outside. We got some bandits in the cave. Come on. Oh, jeez. I'm gonna die. I don't have any potions. I should have bought a. Oh, there we go. They call five. That didn't heal me much. Could use my ring. Uh, I guess I decided I wasn't going to go in there because I was probably going to die in there. Oh, I was just healing. <clears throat> this dude is standing there. Sup? Let me relieve you. Yeah, that's definitely a thief. I'm not talking to him. Well, that was a fruitful trip. Leveled up a few times. Looks like we've finally reached uh, Bitter Coast. <clears throat> it's nice to be back home. That's considering that we're still pretty weak. I'm uh, just gonna not go in that cave. I can kill most animals, weak animals, like the rats and crabs and stuff, but, uh, and the Nyx hounds I could finally kill. But, uh, can't seem to fight humans very well yet. Long blade level, what level was it? God damn, I missed it. What level was it? Kill the next sound. One. Level 50, that's what I thought. Level 50 in uh, Longblade. <clears throat> that's pretty good this early on in the game. Oh boy. Oh, it's diseased too. If an animal is diseased and he hits you enough times, you get a, there's a chance you can contact that uh, that disease. 
or contract that disease. <coughs> My English is wonderful. So, uh, it's pretty, just, pretty much just a big adventure today. Just leveling up our skills and exploring. Shipwreck. We already explored that one, I think, didn't we? No, we haven't been here. It's another shipwreck. Ow. Where the hell is it? Oh, I got it. It's two of them. Okay. Imperial key. I'm assuming that's a key to like a door in here. Can't remember if I found anything good in here or not. Grave dust. Oh, there's the. I think that's where we use the key on. It's a chest. Oh, it's a barrel. Dead body. Nothing really interesting in here, huh? Looking for like a chest or something because there's gotta be something in here somewhere. Huh. Okay, well. Gonna skip ahead a tad. I was in that boat for a long time. All right. Nothing interesting happened in that boat. I thought I'd find something I couldn't remember. We're heading right to Sedanine. Ow. There's fish. Should be just right along here. That was a <clears throat> hell of a journey. We're almost as here to need. Oh, I see it. We made it. We made it home. We did it. We done did it. Boy, is it nice to be back. Holy crap. I actually didn't think I was going to survive. Take the Silt Strider back to Balmora. Yes. 
Almora for 13 gold. Storming. What are you guys doing out in a freaking storm? The wind's blowing pretty good. Yeah. Alright. We're back. How may I help you, Hi everybody. I'm back. Your talents are noteworthy and questions your depth of devotion. Perform more duties for the fighter skills and you'll earn your place. Care to talk? You're right. a welcome break from the locals. And uh, that'll be it for this video. Thanks for watching. Uh, had a lot of fun. Hopefully you enjoyed watching. And uh, we'll go on to the uh, next segment.